Hello everyone, and welcome back to Minecraft. Now, usually at this point I say when we left off, but I really can't remember what I was doing when I left off. <laughs> um, I was cooking meat. I do remember that. We had found a chicken. Was I getting some more stuff from my house? I really don't remember. Oh well, well, um... What I shall start doing today is I'm going to start building my watchtower up on my plateau. And for the watchtower, I need lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of cobblestone. I don't need that dirt though. Because we will need some stone bricks. Now, do I do it here or do I do it up there? Um, I'm inclined to say maybe I should do it up there, but I don't know how long that's going to take. So, maybe I should just let it roll here for now. I do need more wood, though. I am going to need some more wood. So, whilst we are waiting for that, we shall actually do some more. I was about to say mining, but we're not mining. We're chopping. Sorry, Mr. Tree, but needs must. It's a shame that I was thinking about this the other day. You should have, like, some kind of. You should get a bonus XP if you plant a tree every time you chop one down. Because it seems to me. I'm not, I'm not a huge environmentalist. But. If you wanted to get kids interested in stuff like the environment, Minecraft would be a great way to do it. You know, you could actually teach them about planting tree, you know, planting new trees once the old ones have been chopped down. Because, you know, there's going to be people that are saying, well, just don't chop down the trees. Well, you kind of need to chop down trees to, you know, Minecraft is a prime example of this. We need to chop down trees because we need the resources. But we could very easily plant new trees. I'm sounding very environmentalist right now. But I shall follow my own example, and I shall plant a tree. Oh, there's another one. Uh, another one. Another sample trees. I'll just plant some more trees. Plant there. And one there. And I should pick up another one and plant another one there. And another one there. And another one there. Uh, oh, that was the last one. Oh, well. Right, well. At least I have some more wood now. How is my little chicken friend doing? What are you? Are you a chicken or you are you a duck? Chidduck. Duck chick. I don't really know what to refer to it as. That's really going to take a while. See, normally... Actually, that's something I can start doing. I was just about to say, normally in these games, I build myself, like, a basement where I can build, like, a huge smelting chamber. Maybe I should do that now. That wouldn't be such a bad idea, but where do I build... Well, stupidly, the best place to build it going down is there. But I shall have to start from here, then. So, let's just dig all the way out under my house, then. Because that's going to be the easiest way of doing this, I think. Takes me to the edge of the foundation. Okay, that's what I want. Build in a basement. Why, why would I use. I've started using the as I was. Right, that's the edge of the foundation. Well, I'm going to have to dig out around the foundation anyway, aren't I? What am I thinking of? So, 
We might as well just leave that as it is for now. Right, see there? Right, that really is the edge of the foundation, so... Let's pop that back. Put that there. Oh, don't mine away the foundation. Basically, the reason I want to uh, mine to the edge of the foundation is so I can extend the foundation downward. So I can actually um, just build straight down so I can create like an inner wall. I know what I mean, even if you don't. It has just dawned on me though, how am I going to get back up? Um, I might have to build a temporary staircase once I've finished excavating. And there's probably people going, why aren't you using a shovel? It's because I don't have a shovel to hand, and I can't be asked to make stairs to go all the way up just to get one. So I'm using a pickaxe. Well, to be fair, actually, I do have a crafting table right here. I don't have any iron. It would be a lot easier to do this with a shovel. Fuck it, let's get a shovel. Right, let me craft myself a shovel then. I'm going to remember how to craft a shovel. Is it stick, stick, iron? No. What about the other way around? There we go. Right, well, we have our shovel. Okay. Right, let's put the iron back. So we don't need that. Chuck some more cobblestone in the furnace. Take that stone out, actually. And now we go back to what we do. But yeah, this is going to be a lot quicker. <laughs> right. That's much better. Well, so much for planning this day to do my watchtower. <laughs> um, but uh, to be fair, doing this will actually make it a lot easier to do the watchtower in future. Ah, didn't mean to do that. So 
the edge of the foundation's quite far away. But um, I shall leave it there for this week. We've got quite far. We've got a fair bit done. And I shall hopefully have all of this dug out by the time of the next episode. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. There wasn't really much to it, but I still hope you enjoyed it. Like, favorite, subscribe, share. It really helps me out a lot. And I shall see you all with another video very soon.